So what are exclusion zones? Exclusion zones are, are areas that are uh, initially predefined uh, by uh, scientists and engineers looking at potential accidents from nuclear facilities and what they want to do is to be able to uh, define an area where they can manage the risk to the population that might be exposed. So for example, we can set a, a 10 mile exclusion zone and that we expect uh, based on accident scenarios that if we move people outside of that, that the risk will be very, very manageable. And then depending on if an accident occurs and how you manage the accident and how the material is dispersed, you're going to change the shape of that uh, exclusion zone to address where the contamination and the radiation is actually moved to with the overarching goal of protecting the public. So they are predefined to help emergency responders uh, figure out the best ways to evacuate people, what routes to take, how to manage crowd control, if you will, or, or to do shelter in place. But then in the event of an accident, you have to be willing to look at what has actually come out of the facility and do you need to modify uh, what that zone looks like. So when you look at how exclusion zone boundaries are set, what uh, emergency responders and emergency managers have to do is that they have to, to uh, strike a balance between uh, minimizing uh, the risk of radiation exposure to the people that are in the, in the path of these plumes and counterbalancing that with a very real risk when you have to evacuate populations. For example, you know um, simply from accident statistics that there will be potential for loss of life from simply moving people outside of a zone. Sim uh, similarly, if you're dealing with, uh, say, critical care patients in the hospitals and the like, um, if you have to move them, there's a very real risk. And we've seen this in, in other natural disasters, Katrina and elsewhere, when you take patients from hospitals and you have to put them in ambulances and move them um, because of, of uh, an impending threat, there will be loss of life. And so uh, emergency responders and, and managers want to balance a potential cancer risk down the, down the road uh, with the very real risk that's encountered by moving people out of these areas. So, so that's the, the big concern. Ten, ten miles seems to, to, to strike that balance with, a, with uh, EPZs, but the one thing that I'm particularly impressed about our regulatory agencies here in, in, in the U.S. is that they're constantly reassessing, you know, based on, on current knowledge, are these controls appropriate? Should we refine them? Should, and, and they uh, engage the public in this discussion about what's appropriate. They look at, at the industry. What do we know about potential risks? And there's always lessons learned are, are being uh, factored back into these decisions about what's an appropriate uh, exclusion zone.